Hi, this is Tom of Junkie Excel. You're watching ProfessionalRockStars.com. So yeah, uh, power outage at the Ultra Press Tent going on right now. We got the candles burning, keeping it going. So at the threshold, you were saying uh, about uh, downloading. Yeah, and I, I mean, I mean the, the the threshold, you know, for people out there to to get to know like new music and dance music has become so low because of the downloads and because of all the music is out there on the internet. I think that's a very good thing, you know. Like in early days, you had to buy stuff or you had to rent it. So. I'm, it's a paradox. I am an artist. I love to sell records, and because of the downloads, my record sales also went down. But on the other hand, much more people get to know me because of the downloads. You know, so it's a, it's a paradox. And the websites too. I mean, you, you, I've, I've seen you uh, on MySpace, and I, I, you know, when you go on to uh, uh, different sites and all the magazines, I mean, you have a lot of press coverage compared to some other DJs that are out there. Of, is is it because you want to be out there so much, and you've been pushing it, or? You know, your PR people going, hey, Jackie, this would be good for you, this would be good for you. Let's, you know. No, I, I'm very interested in all kinds of media. I mean, the most important thing for me, movies and, and video games, I consider the new radio for electronic music. And, and the internet is the way to reach your fans. And I mean, that's why I maintain my MySpace page. I do it myself. It's a lot of work, and I don't always have the time to respond to people personally, but I do it myself. And um, it's good because you, you, you build like a really close relationship with everybody. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And, um, it's good. It's good for the community. It's good for dance music. Good for the fans. Good for me. What would you say to the bedroom DJs out there? What I would say is that, you know, we need the electronic community. Need people that have a fresh perspective, you know, on on electronic music and a fresh, you know, level of energy. And it's very important that young people out there just keep on going and keep on going, you know, till finally, you know, they get it right and they get out there and get their stuff out. You know, it's very important. What are your top five save your ass dance tracks? Uh, a lot of people have been stumbling. Actually, <laughs> well, actually, my favorite track at the moment is uh, is a track from a guitar band, and it's the editors from uh, from from England, and the track is called Camera. That's my my favorite track at the moment. Okay. And what's for the future? You have an album coming out. Are you gonna be yeah, my, my my new album is coming out April 18th in the US. It's, um, called? it's called Today. And um, I'm going to support that with a tour all over the all over the states, all over the you know all the cities. I live in Los Angeles, so I'm very close to pretty much every city within five hours. And then after the summer, I'm going to do uh, Europe. I'm also working on a movie, a video game, two ad campaigns, a couple of remixes. So there's a lot of stuff coming out this year. Licensing, everybody. There's a lot of licensing. You really want to survive? You got to be able to have that stuff out there. Yeah, I, I had a conversation with Crystal Method the other day, and he was saying the same thing. Licensing is just it's great to go on tour and you, you know do all those gigs to be close to the people, but that extra money comes in handy. You know, and for everything, for buying all the gear you want to yeah, buy. Whatever. I mean, you still buy, are you still buying old pieces of gear? Oh yeah, I got so much old stuff. A lot. What's your favorite piece? <laughs> My favorite piece is an old Electro Harmonic synthesizer. It's called the EH400. Right, so. right.